Yeah, she's just getting her stuff. Why? <sighs> Look, I'm wearing a beanie in the middle of the summer because I came here yesterday and got my hair cut. It's not good. Come on, you still got time. Who even are you? Your guardian angel. And that's how I met my best friend, John, who moved from New York to our little nowhere town about a year ago. We instantly clicked. Now, he's not just my best friend, he's the best friend I've ever had. He's the sweetest guy ever. He even carried me all the way home when I hurt my ankle dancing. And yes, if you're thinking he might be in love with me, you're right, he's made that pretty clear. At first, I wasn't sure if he was just being a good friend, since I also love spoiling people on their birthdays. But then... I should have gotten a clue when he asked me to go on a picnic on Valentine's Day. There was no denying it after that. Thankfully, when I didn't show the same interest, he was never pushy about it. I wanted to like him back, but unfortunately, he's also a huge goofball. Not that there's anything wrong with that. We had a lot of fun, but anytime I tried to be serious and talk about things that were bothering me or asked him serious questions about how he felt about things, he just got shy, went quiet, or tried to make me laugh. For me, love is more than just having fun. I always knew that whoever I fell in love with would also have to have a serious side, more depth. That's why, unfortunately for John, I was already completely in love with someone else. The only problem was I had no idea who he was. Of course, there were times I wished it was John and that he was just too shy to be serious with me, but it didn't add up. Not only did the blogger live in a big city, very much unlike her tiny town, but his parents were still together and John's were divorced. It couldn't be him. His blog went viral a couple of years ago. Every girl in school was in love, but I'm the only one who never moved on. He posts every single night at midnight, like clockwork. Most days I'm asleep, but when I'm awake, I always imagine he's here with me telling me about his day. Today, I drove an hour out of the rush concrete and glass of the city that I live in to escape into nature. When I'm out there in the green, in the unpolluted air, I take example of the trees and the flowing creek which I step into with my bare feet. Which is to say, I don't have to do, think, or worry. When I'm in nature, just like the trees, and the water, I can just be. I had tried to write to him a few times, but I never had the courage or anything interesting to say. Where should I move? My mom and I need to be out of here in a couple weeks. You're moving since when? I wrote about it last month. Guess you forgot. Got any ideas where I could go? If I was going to do this, it would have to be anonymous. If you're still looking for a place to move, come to Woodland, Massachusetts. Lots of nature and a few fans. Oh my gosh, could I actually do it? Should I? Wait, what if he did come here? And what if he and I... It's not working. Maybe it's not meant to be. Did it send? I don't know. Maybe these things are like wishes. You put him out there and the universe hears it. Yeah, or maybe I just wish it was true because I'm in love with you. At least it gave me something to look forward to. It had been a few days since I sent the message. I never heard back. So, I was thinking... Oh, dangerous for you. I wouldn't advise it. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> no, but for real. We're seniors. We've been working hard. We should have some fun, right? Right. Well, you know what's not fun? Worrying about asking someone out to prom. Oh, <laughs> I see. Oh, man. I thought he already got the hint. The last thing I wanted to do was reject my best friend. I was just thinking, with this whole mess of promposals and worrying about 
who's asking and being asked. Why don't we just go together? You know prom is like six months away, right? <laughs> exactly. But if we don't lock this in right now, we're both going to say yes to someone that probably don't even want to talk to, let alone go to prom with. And honestly, Lana, there's no one else that I'd rather go with. But I'm sure you already know that. <sighs> Here it came. I only hoped letting him down wouldn't ruin our friendship. But I had too much respect for him to be anything but brutally honest. John. I love you as a friend, but you know I don't feel that way about you, right? You don't have to look so worried. I kind of figured that after spending a year of my best moves and not getting anything back. <laughs> like, I don't believe in the whole friend zone stuff. Like, if you liked me, we'd be together. But that doesn't mean that you owe me anything just because we're friends. You know how I feel, and I'm glad that that doesn't come between us. I just meant we could go as friends. Unless there's someone else you'd rather go with. Isn't he just the best? Sometimes I really did wish I loved him like that. It's like you said, pal. I mean, there's no one else I'd rather go with than you. I mean, really, I think it'd be fun. Let's do it. <laughs> of course, the second I said that, he walked in. Wow, if I wasn't already in love with the blogger, I might have just fallen for him right then and there. Class, we have a new student. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, sure. Go ahead. Hi, everyone. My name is River. I just moved here from Los Angeles, and I'm a writer. A writer who just moved from a big city? Wait a minute, it had been a couple of weeks since my mystery blogger said he was moving with his mom. Oh, uh, by the way, does anyone know any good nature spots around here? I like to kind of go into the woods and escape every now and then, you know? And he escapes to nature? There's no way my luck was this good. I still hadn't seen last night's post yet. What if my first day of school's tomorrow? I just hope when I get there, I can actually find someone who sees me. Oh, wow, what if he actually got my messages? I had to be sure it was him. It had been a week of me trying to say more than just hi to River, and I still hadn't figured out if he was the blogger or not. Well, I finally had the idea to overhear his conversation after school one day. Some girl always came up to him, and surprise, surprise, this time it was Susan. I needed our first real interaction to stand out, not to be some service-level flirting like what Susan was doing. It had to be casual, natural. Every girl in school wanted to talk to him. I needed a strategy. I needed to stand out somehow. <laughs> so what are you doing tonight? You know that little theater in town you guys have? They're playing a retro horror movie tonight. Not really, my time. Oh, I'm going to that too. I'm sorry to interrupt. I was just walking by and I heard you. Hi, I'm Lana. We haven't officially met yet. What's up? I'm River. <laughs> so you're going to that movie tonight too? Yeah, totally. I mean, probably, I think so. Maybe I'll see you there. That would be cool. <laughs> Let's talk soon, okay? Right on. Just passing by, huh? Come on, Lana, you already have John. Why not give the rest of us a chance? <laughs> you know I'm not dating John. Then why won't he go out with me? I've only asked him like, 10 times. Yeah, probably because he knows you only date for popularity and also your dinner, movie, arcade. Oh, is that tonight? Come on, Lana, you can't forget that. We've been talking about it for months. I had everything set to run into River, but John was my best friend. Maybe I could do two things at once. I, <laughs> I was kidding. Of course I didn't forget. Movie sounds great. You know, they're actually doing this retro horror movie thing at the- Lana, the you know I can't do horror. Come on, have you forgotten everything about me? We are still friends, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just- uh, If I planned it just right, maybe I could make this work. You know, uh, let's just go to the diner. The one right across from the movie theater. Okay, it's time. For what? Uh, just to be done. I'm done, aren't you? What's the rush? Uh, no rush. I just, I just need some air. Whose turn is it to pay? 
<laughs> Thanks. Okay, I'll meet you outside. I finally figured out the perfect way to stand out from the gaggle of girls at school. And it wasn't cool or casual, but it had to be fast. Lana, hey. Did you just see the movie too? I, I don't have a lot of time before my friend comes out, but I just wanted to say I know who you are. I know about the blog. Uh, but but how? I, I, I didn't tell anyone. I was right. It really was him. Okay, let's just say you just met me, but I have known you for a lot of years, and everything just kind of fit. <laughs> okay, please don't tell anyone about it, though. All right, when it went viral, everybody at my old school figured it out, and it was just this whole mess. Yeah, no, no, it'll be our secret. I just wanted to let you know that I... And then I did what I had always been dreaming of. So I guess tonight's over then. We're... Do you guys on a date? No, we weren't. Um, we're just friends. I'll talk to you later, Lana. John, I'm sorry. I, he's... You don't understand. I, 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 I never told you about the blog. The blog? It's a long story, and I know it's confusing, but I can explain, and there's so much that you don't know about it. It's okay. I am confused, but... Uh, we're not dating. And clearly you like him. You can forget about the prom deal. You should be able to go with whoever you want to go with. As much as I wanted to take the offer, I didn't want our friendship to suffer. No, I... I said I'd go with you, and I want to. You're still my best friend. You're mine too. Have a good night. Is everything okay? Yeah, uh, it will be soon. All I had to do now was find John another prom date so I could go with my dream guy. Oh, hey, Susan. You like John, right? You should ask him to prom. It's a bit early for that, don't you think? Uh, well, you know, the early bird gets the, the thing. Oh, okay. What's your game, Lana? No game. I just want him to go with someone who likes him or just go at all, but he's too shy to ask anyone. Come on, it'll be fun. <laughs> Wait, didn't I see you flirting with the new kid earlier? Let me guess. John asked you, but now you want to dump him on me so you can go with Mr. Walking Poetry and be off the hook. I love Mr. Phil River. Okay, look, well, no, it's, it's complicated. I'm not dumping John. I just want to go to a prom with a guy I'm actually into, you know? You think John would be happy knowing that I was wishing to be with someone else? Please, Susan. Well, I do need a new bag. How much are you offering? I got a hundred bucks. I would expect this from someone like me, but not you. And definitely not to him. You know, when you don't value the good things right in front of you, you could lose them. That's what River said in his blog. But, but I do value John a lot. I'm not acting like it. All right, I'll do it. But don't be surprised if he falls for me. I'm gonna do everything I can to make it happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Finally, it was almost time for prom. After months of being friends and flirting, River and I had just started dating a couple weeks back. And though I barely checked the blog in the last six months because he said it was like I was reading his diary, when I did sneak a peek, he always mentioned a girl in school with a famous name who he was falling for. <laughs> the deal's off. Wait, what? Why? You don't want to go with him anymore? Of course I want to go with him. We're not even dating, but... Ever since I asked him, John has been nothing but the kindest, sweetest guy to me, and all I've done is lie to him. I know he's in love with you, and I'm definitely not the girl he deserves, but I have fallen for him, and I don't want to treat him like a business transaction. He's the greatest guy I've ever met. I'll still go to prom with him, but I won't be paid to do it. Wait, Lana, you paid Susan to go to prom with me? I, it's just, I, I didn't want you to go alone and I, I felt bad because of River, it's just- No, 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 I get it. I think I'm just gonna stay home. Wait, John. What was it you said about valuing him? 
Stay. I'll talk to him. How did I let things get so messy? I called and I called, but John wouldn't answer. Could Susan have been right? Had I not been valuing my own best friend this whole time? And to be honest, I missed hanging out with John. As much as I wanted to feel with River what I did when I was reading his words, I just didn't. My own best friend won't even be at prom tonight because I treated him like something I could just buy off. It's like what you wrote. When you don't value the good things in front of you, you could lose them. I feel like I lost my best friend. What are you talking about? I never said that. Oh, the blog. Yeah, that's right. I, I almost forgot. What do you mean? You know, you say that all the time. You repeat things from the blog, word for word. I was just giving you everything you wanted. Yeah. Well, now you don't have a date to prom, jerk. And you know what? I have something for you. Whoa. What is wrong with you? This That's disgusting, Lana. Yeah, at least I'm honest. Sort of. I couldn't believe it. How could this all be a coincidence? What about falling for a girl with a famous name? There were so many similarities. How could it be? She doesn't feel the same way. It's okay. At least we plan to jump out of a plane on our one-year friendship anniversary in six months. So at least she likes me enough to stay friends for a while. That's enough for me. Wait. This is what John and I planned to do a year ago. You look like you've seen a ghost. Susan, what are you doing here? What's it look like? Why do you look so freaked? Did you finally figure it out? Figure what out? You think I quoted that blog by accident? We all loved whoever that boy was who was writing those posts. I thought it was River when I first saw him, but the more I got to know John, I realized it had to be him. That, and I also secretly read his diary. When I asked him about the blog, he made me promise not to tell, because he's shy about showing that side of himself. But how is it possible? It, it just doesn't add up. Well, the posts are all exactly a year behind, so the post you read today, he wrote a year ago. But he doesn't want anyone to know. Right? That's why the posts come out at the same time every single day. It's scheduled. All those posts that got me through my hardest days, they were from John. The serious side he never showed. The big city he moved from wasn't LA, it was New York. I had been in love with my best friend this whole time and I had no idea. I can't believe I didn't see it. You were right, I didn't value him enough and now, now I've lost him forever. I'm not great at comforting people, so. Oh, Susan, is he still going to prom with you tonight? I've begged him to let me take him and try to make things up to him, but he doesn't seem too sure. I wasn't gonna lose him that easy. Please convince him. I made a huge mistake, but you were right. I didn't value him enough over my own wants and I didn't even really get to know him for who he was, but I need to tell him I'm sorry. And sorry isn't enough, but I have to make this big. I have to let him know how much he means to me, how much he's always meant. Susan. Please, just please get John to the prom. Okay? Thank you. Looks like he didn't come after all. Well, he's been talking to me from a distance for years, so maybe it should be my turn. Well, I hope the DJ doesn't mind. Uh, hi, sorry. Hi, everyone. There's something I need to say. Can someone record this, please? Thanks. She's always looking for ways to help more people. She's always telling me ideas that helped her with a problem, so it'll help me too. She doesn't know how much she helps me or everyone else because she's not trying to, it's just who she is. At first I was afraid to move here, but now I wouldn't rather live anywhere else. That was written about me by my best friend, John. Since we first met, he saw me in a way that no one else ever has. He saw me in a way that I never saw him. I thought I couldn't love him because I didn't believe he was who I wanted, but the truth is, he's so much better. 
I just wanted to say, John, I'm so sorry for not seeing you and, and your true value. Oh, hi. I, I had something prepared in case you came. John, you make me laugh. You're there for me when I'm sad. <laughs> you, you put up with me when I'm a brat. <laughs> I wish I hadn't been so blind, but I, I can't change the past. And I know I don't deserve you, well, not yet at least, but I want to be someone who does. You know, I've pictured this moment a thousand times, and every time in my mind, you're no less than perfect. Just like you are now. Look, I don't want to ditch you at prom. Thanks.